Now, I would like to introduce how to use diverse scanning calorimetry Q20. Okay, this is computer, cooling system, VAC, nitrogen. First, open the nitrogen system. Then adjust, open here, and the 0.1, okay, that's good, then switch on, here, to the SC, and switch on, cooling system, Then the PC. Okay, now the first time we should stabilize this apparatus for 30 minutes. How to stabilizing? So maybe we can wait for start up. Be sure already connected this computer to the this PC to the the SC instrument. So here there is button in startup in desktop. Okay, this is the icon, the search path. Okay, this is warming up, so we should let uh, let him to warming up first. After the stabilizing, next sampling. How to make sample? Okay, here. This is. tools to for sampling so after stabilizing for 30 minutes we will prepare for sample okay next mm -hmm. so we wait until connected now no, already connect okay this is the first display Okay, this is the information about the systems. The system should be in minus 90 or 80 degrees. So, first thing to stabilize is switch on. Okay, and then, okay, and then wait for 30 minutes. This is already on. Step is how to create sample, but first we should make sure that the flame temperature is around 95 minus 95 degree, and the bird flow is about uh, around 50 milliliter per minute. It means the nitrogen uh, is quite enough transfer to the heating to the cooling system then now we prepare for the sample and also the reference okay we use this one the suitable one here we put up the For okay. the difference, it depends on your uh, method. You can use the blank 
as the reference and then put here okay then put to the reference one Okay, now we can put the sample start begin start from one. Next, sample. And put here. Okay, good. Put in number one. Let's start to set up first. Create new experiment. Okay, this is run one. Firstly, you setting about the procedures, how much the heating rate, I use 5 minutes per milliliter, and how much the final temperature, and also you can uh, setting the start temperature. Okay, for this sample, I will okay the name is Sakan fiber and for sample size uh, 3 milligram the pen number number one and the reference number one comment this is sample and be sure uh, you put your file name correctly this is because for the next step to analyze the results then after this just press double click to reset or run and then double click to start the run okay so it's running just wait the data the data is already transferred to here so just wait for a moment Okay, it's move. It's moving. Okay, open the. Okay, first. Simple. Then. Difference.
Okay. Now, you can see in this display, the temperature will getting increased. And the remaining runtime for example for 5 Celsius a minute is around five, uh, 56 minutes. So here we can see the live report of our sample. Okay, the for final step is how to analyze the data, the, the chromatogram, the DAC chromatogram. Okay, we use the TA Universal Analysis software, and then we'll open here. That is uh, which file that you already saved before. For example, I choose this one. This is uh, the setting. So in this. Uh, condition I uh, use the exotherm up so exotherm is in the up okay okay this is the result of my DST so how to analyze here if you want to make a, a whole much degree here so we can focus okay and then we can choose one of these but I usually choose this one and then put as you like okay the label point what do you want you can uh, add the temperature or the signal heat and etc and the uh, e axis value for this sample I choose temperature and e axis value so okay so here is the results okay another peak you can also do like that one and then the important thing next is how to export to pdf here export to pdf file as you want you can tap in uh, whenever where, whenever you want or whatever uh, wherever you want and for example I want to put here just save and finish then we can save and we can uh, analyze in PDF